Well, the big difference between duodenal and gastric ulcers is where they occur. So there's the GI tract starts with the esophagus in the stomach, and then the first portion of the intestine called the duodenum or the duodenum. If the ulcer occurs in the esophagus, it's an esophagus ulcer, but if it happens in the stomach, we call it a gastric ulcer. And if it happens in the first portion of the intestine, we call it a duodenal ulcer. How does the patient know or even suspect they've got a gastric ulcer or a duodenal ulcer? Do they have symptoms? Almost always, well, I shouldn't say that. Most of the time, they have pain, and that pain tends to be over the middle portion, top portion of, of your stomach, and it just hurts. Classically, a stomach ulcer will hurt when you eat where, and be better on an empty stomach, whereas the duodenal ulcer will hurt when it's fasting or during the night. 